Hey guys, welcome into the garage and I need to do a follow-up video on the compressor review or unboxing and review-ish video I did uh, about now two months ago. I feel if I didn't, I'd be doing a disservice to, the, to you, my viewers, and the channel if I didn't uh, do this update video. So here we are. So earlier this week I was uh, getting some, some clear coating done. I was clear coated the R31 and I was working on the Mercedes body. I was getting it clear coated. Now you'll now it'll make sense if you uh, if you'll see the other if you have if you watch the video that just went live today, the painting tutorial painting tutorial video that I'm kind of painting tutorial video that I'm working on. You'll now it makes sense the Mercedes. I was anyways I was getting that clear coated up. I was almost done with it, and that's why I noticed the uh, airbrush was losing some psi. And then that's when I noticed that the compressor had stopped working. Yes. It done did died. It, it didn't even last two months. Last about a month and a half, maybe. Uh, I don't know what happened. Efforts to get a, efforts to revive it have failed. It is dead again. I don't know. I don't have it. It just won't run. Um, so I run. I was right in the middle of the clear coat. I think uh, two back to back rounds of clear coating did it in. Uh, there was about a half hour in between the clear coating sessions, so it wasn't. And it's not hot. It wasn't hot when I started on the second one. So I just, I, but I just think it was because I was running it at a full blast, uh, at, at, at its close to its max psi that it can operate at and stuff. So it was probably running full tilt. And I think I just probably overcooked it, or I could have just got a bad unit. I mean, it's possible. Electronics, electronics can be finicky, some bitches, and it's possible I just got a, I just got a bad unit. So the reason why I want to do this video is if you're in the market for a compressor and you might have been considering it, I don't even know if anybody's even watched that video at this point, I have no idea. But if anybody has and you're considering a new compressor, I'm not going to tell you to stay away from it and I'm not going to tell you to go out and get it. I'm going to tell you to use your best judgment, do what's going to be best for you. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you look at the reviews on it, it's like a four-star review compressor, which is pretty decent considering, you know, it was $60 and it, you know, it's a... It's a cheap uh, compressor, so that's kind of really what sold me on it. Was it had really good solid reviews. I mean, the only negative reviews on it was the leakage problem out of the box when you hooked up the, the regulator to the tank. It was leaking you, because they didn't use the right fittings and what have you. That was really the only complaints that I could find on that branding, the Penny uh, compressor. That's really what's you know that's what sold me was the reviews I'm like well geez it's 60 something dollars and the reviews are pretty solid Maybe, you know let's get it unfortunately uh, you get what you pay for comes into play on this one and I know better you know this isn't I don't even think I'm complaining or not I'm really not I mean you know what I took a gamble on buying a cheap compressor and it didn't pay off you know and that is life and I learned a lesson so I'm not complaining about it. I'm just passing this information on to you my experiences so maybe you can avoid it yourself that's really what this is so it didn't pay off the 60 bucks. I did not, for sure, did not get my $60 worth out of that compressor. So again, I don't know what happened. It just died. But there's a couple things I wanted to point out too. If you look at that compressor and you look at some of the more expensive compressors, like say from like Master, Air, uh, Master Airbrush, which is a TPC brand, I think, TPC Global brand, and some other, even some of the, uh, quote, real brand name compressors, they're really they're basically identical, which means they're probably coming out of the same factory. I mean, the tank is identical, the compressors are identical, the way it's set up on it, the way the plumbing is, everything is identical. I mean, they are a little bit legitimately the same compressor, just with a different name attached to it. So that kind of been like, well, you know, it's just a they're just selling them cheaper. They're you know, I don't know, but they're pretty much all the same really when you break it down. They're so again, that, I mean, doesn't mean that they're the same on the inside. No, that means the outsides are the same, what have you, but. They're probably definitely coming from the same factory. One one company or one factory or whatever, one thing is making them, and these other companies are just probably buying them and slapping their names on it, is my guess. And I could be wrong. I don't know. So I'm going to move on to the other news is I have a new compressor now in the house, in the garage. The wife was so kind to give me a new compressor as an early Christmas present. Um, she got me a new one. It arrived yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, from Amazon, got it from Amazon, and it is a, um, the name of it actually is, it's called Point Zero, never really heard of them, um, but the reviews are even better than the $60 one, better than uh, Pache's um, uh, air, uh, compressors, 
but that doesn't surprise me. I've had a Pache airbrush, and it was pretty much the easiest uh, airbrush I ever used. The ten, the, the twenty dollar Harbor Freight air, airbrush I had was better than that Pache uh, airbrush. So I'm not surprised. Pache makes some pretty shitty products, in my opinion. I'm not impressed with uh, them at all. The customer service was just as bad. So that's fine. But but the reviews on this one, the new one I got, was better than some of the some of the real brand name ones. Uh, it was almost, it was about a four and a half uh, star reviewed product. Um, it's set up a bit differently actually than these other ones. Um, same compressor, same tank, but the way it's set up is completely different. The way the plumbing is done is all different. The way it's laid out different. The way the, the regulator is hooked up to the tank, it's all different. And that's other good news. Out of the box, there's no leakage from the, between the tank and regular. There's no leakage. It, it works like it should. So that's a plus right there. That gives me some hopes that it's going to last a little bit longer than a month and a half. The one thing I do, I will, I have noticed, is it is a bit louder than the other one. <clears throat> the other one, I couldn't hear it really. I mean, I could kind of hear it if I stopped and focused a little bit on it to hear it over the, like when the paint booth is running. This one, I can hear it over the paint booth. And I'm not saying it's extremely loud. It's just a a little bit louder, just a tad bit louder, just enough that I can hear it over, or not over, I shouldn't say over, but I can hear it, I can hear it easier when the paint booth is running. It's not louder than the paint booth, but it's just loud enough where I can actually hear it. I think that makes sense. I'm going to try to do a review video on it here soon. That's just it. I wanted to pass on, along this information. So if you're considering that air, that compressor, um, definitely stop and think about it. Again, I could have just got a bad unit. It is what it is. It happens as part of life when you buy cheap products. Live and learn. There you go, folks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.